Hello, my young people. Um, this is Uncle Kaipo, and today we're going to be studying out of the book of Matthew, chapter 8. So today we're looking at chapter 8, Matthew, chapter 8. And it's an interesting chapter because it's a, it's a chapter filled with healing. Jesus went around healing all kinds of people, but there's a lot of other things that's involved in this chapter that I like to um, share. So Jesus comes down from the mount and people are just following him and there's people asking him to heal him and everything like that. Well, there's one man that comes up to him, which is a leopard, and he comes up to Jesus and he says, if you will, Christ, will you heal me? And of course, Jesus is going to heal him. So Jesus says, you're healed. And he's, he's happy and he goes away, you know, he's healed and he walks away and he's, he's all excited. So Jesus continues on, heals other people, just people that come up to him and, and he just continues to heal them. One other um, important figure in this chapter is a centurion. The centurion had a servant and the servant was very ill. He loved this servant and he was like a family member to him. So he goes to Jesus and he tells Jesus, Jesus, please heal my servant because he's sick and just please heal him. And Jesus says, okay, no problem. Let's go, let's go to your house. Do I, you want me to go to your house? And the centurion says, no, 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 Jesus. You know, I'm a man of authority. You, you can't come to my house. He says, just say the word that he's healed and I believe he'll be healed. And so Jesus says, go. Your servant is healed. He gets home, his servant is healed. It's a miracle. Everybody's celebrating, everybody's happy. That showed so much faith in the centurion, just saying, just say the word, Lord, and he'll be healed. So Jesus continues on. He's walking through the town, hundreds of people following him. So he's like, you know, we need to, we need to get away from the crowd. So he says, let's get in the boat and let's go across the, the lake. While they're in the middle of the lake, a huge storm comes up and the disciples are just like terrified. Oh no, we're going down, we're going down. And they say, wake Jesus up, wake him up so he can do something about this. So they wake him up and they said, master, don't you care? Don't you care what's gonna happen to us? We're gonna drown, we're gonna perish. And Jesus says, don't worry about it, I got this, right? So Jesus raises his hands, calms the storm. And then the disciples are like, what kind of man is this? Where he can even calm nature, the seas, the ocean, the winds. What kind of man is this? So Jesus continues on his, his mission of healing, not just physical, but spiritual. So he goes on and he's walking through the town and he comes up on two men that are demon possessed. The demons look at Jesus and they say, what do you want with us, you son of God? So these demons, sinners as they are, they create all kinds of havoc in people's lives. They identified who he was right from the back. They said, you, you, they are looking and speaking to Jesus and saying, you, Son of God, what do you want with us? They knew who he was. They knew the power that he had. And they said, please, please, please send us into the swine. Send us over there. So Jesus says, leave. And he, he sent them into the swine. The swine went over the cliff and perished. As you can see, yes, this chapter is full of healing, but it also shows our faith the kind of faith that exists in the world, that exists in you and I. So my questions are, what was the difference between the faith that the leopard had and the centurion had? The second question is, did the disciples really, really believe who they were dealing with? And finally, for you to look into yourselves is, who do you identify yourself with? your faith, your belief in the Son of God. Do you identify yourself with the centurion of total faith? The unsure disciples who think maybe, maybe this is Jesus. And the third, the demons who are sinners, but who completely knew who Jesus was. So God bless you, my young people, and I hope to see you again soon.